what is up? It is Simone here, and today in this video, we're gonna be doing a nice, beautiful slay with Hair VV. You guys know how the packaging looks already, so we're not gonna go in depth with that. We have a fabulous wig, and I was ready to wear it to Miami, but I had to put it on pause because the video was doing the 20th. But in this video, I kind of want to show you guys a little like something or whatever. You guys know Hair VV's lace is always to the point, amazing, looks good, and it blends into your skin without you really having to do anything. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm wondering if I should do glueless or if I should just install it. Hmm, I don't know. We'll think about it as we go along. Here is the wig. Pretty much in this video, I just want to show you how well their hairline is. I'm going to put a lot of emphasis on the hairline because usually when you guys are asking me what kind of wigs I am wearing, it's usually a hair VV wig um, off camera. It's usually my everyday wig. This is a piece of lace. This one is not bleached. Okay. Now, when you're ordering from Hair VV, they're typically going to do all the work for you. So when you do get your wig, honey, this is how it's going to look. Do you see how good that looks? And this is a straight out of the box. I mean, you basically have to do nothing besides style it if you want and put it on your head. The lace on this wig is HD. So as you can see, it blends in with my hand very well. You kind of can't even tell where the lace is, especially if you're far away. So it looks really good. Um, that's part of the reason why I never really have to really install my wigs if I don't want to. The lace look. So super invisible. If you're really just not familiar with what HD means, if you're a new wig wearer, new to the wig game, new to the wig world, HD is pretty much what every company and brand is promoting. It's supposed to be, you know, type of sort of kind of transparent-ish, but it's supposed to melt into your skin and it looks really good. So usually, I usually opt in for HD. It's my favorite. It looks good and it blends in well on your damn you can see they put the fake scalp method in underneath which I love and live for because it makes your hair look so natural Of course lace on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that I'm gonna have to use the big scissors because I don't know where my other one is and I'm not about to go searching for it So there is a headband in here which helps with security and I just have my hair pretty much braided into Pippi Longstock and braids <laughs> back here but as you guys know, with the pandemic and everything, lace wig, you know, there's a huge shortage with lace. Ooh, ooh, child, this looks damn good. <laughs> I love it, I love it. <laughs> I'm so annoying. But this looks so good. Look at that. Ooh, it smells really good too. Wow, when do y'all ever disappoint? Serious question. And if you guys look up close, the only thing that I you can see, which I'm not gonna ignore because it's very much so visible, is you can see where the fake scalp method starts, which is not bad. I mean, unless somebody is in your scalp, you should be a-okay, but this looks freaking good. It looks like a fresh perm. But as you guys know, I keep telling you guys in every video, there's a huge lace shortage. I know, who would have thought lace wig be having a shortage right now, which is why there's all those headband wigs, closure wigs coming out, because there's just not enough lace to go around between you, me, and, and our mothers. But it's up because, you know, I'm starting to appreciate lace wigs, because to be honest, I'm telling you, like, every company that is in my inbox, in my email, is like a headband wig, and I'm like, how much, how much can you possibly do with a headband wig, you know? But it is what it is. I mean, it's the way the market is going right now. But you know, at the same time, I ain't mad at it because all these U-part wigs is making my life a little easier. It's helped me to appreciate my real hair and just understand that there are so many other options as far as hair and stuff than just wigs. Like, there's other comfortable options out there. It's just a rat race right now for lace wigs. <laughs> and if you've noticed, the one thing about Hair VV that I like, well, they are probably one of the few companies that are still able to get good materials because all these brands are just going to give you cheap-ass lace and cheap-ass material just because... They need their money, and for the most part, I don't have to do much. And if I don't do my girl, I'm lazy. Today I am lazy. Okay, so if I'm gonna do much, you want in my book? All right, I'm gonna spray it down just because I'm gonna do a look. Line. I really hate seeing this headband because the because the lace is so HD. It's like they can't even hide. The freaking stocking cap method, which is gonna drive me nuts. I mean, I know how to hide it, but you know, they could have did it for me.
what I'm gonna have to do is work on the top. So I'm gonna do that for a while because I'm, I am so anal and picky when it comes to like right here not falling properly. And as you can see, it's just, it's it's, it's not doing its job. So I'm gonna have to, um, I mean, I could probably do, I think I'm gonna do a side part. I just think middle parts for me, like if y'all watch my channel, y'all know I go through phases. Sometimes middle parts are like, they look good. And sometimes I'm just like, nah. So I think I'm gonna just do a side part and call it a day. Mm -hmm.